What's good, YouTube? It's Lord Shift here. We're back at it again with another banger video on this rainy ass day, as you can see. And you guys probably clicked this video because they're probably wondering, hmm, how is it like to daily drive a Dodge Charger RT? You're either in the market for a Dodge Charger RT or you don't know if you should get the RT over another car. So I'm here to give you guys all the information you need to know about daily driving this car. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the end. Smash that like button, of course, and subscribe if you're new, man. And I'm going to give you all good content. I ain't going to do too much talking for the intro. Let's get straight into it, y'all. All right, y'all. We're going to start off by saying this. The Dodge Charger RT is not a bad trim. I promise you. A lot of people hate on the RTs because they slow and all that. But you got to think, man, at one point in time, the RTs was like the Hellcats back then. Like the RTs are so slept on. They loud, they sound good. You still get that V8 grumble. Still a V8, you feel me? It ain't a V6. You still in a V8 regardless. You might not be as fast as a, a Hellcat or a Scat Pack, but you gotta think, man, you in a V8. That's all that matters, to be honest. Like, don't get me wrong, you not slow, but you not fast, like fast as shit. Like you're faster than your average car on the road. From a person who daily's a, char a Dodge Charger RT, this shit is not bad, I promise you. Take this on a test drive, and I promise you, you're gonna be impressed. From a 5.7 liter V8, produces 375 horsepower and about 400 pounds of torque or some shit like that. You're pretty fast or faster than your, your average car on the road. You sound good and all. So we just gonna start off by saying that the RT is not a bad trim. All right, so moving on guys. Um, another main thing about this car was the gas. A lot of people are probably curious on how the gas is. Because when I was in the market for this car, I was like, damn, like it's gonna suck having to fill up every three to five days. $70 a tank, $80 a tank, like shit's gonna be ass. But I'm not gonna lie, it's not that bad. And I'm not saying that because I'm already in the car. It's actually not that bad. Like I fill up about every three to five days and it costs about $65 to $70 a tank. I think this car takes 20 gallons, but depending on your miles per gallon, it all depends on like, you know how many miles you get per fill up and you know how many times you have to fill up right now i'm at 13.8 miles per gallon a full tank was about 230 miles on 13.8 to 14 miles per gallon so it sucks i'm not gonna lie like 230 probably sucks compared to a camry or a honda or anything like that but it's not as bad as you think like filling up every three to five days is not that bad um but that's about it for gas. If you have any more questions on, on gas in that category, just um, ask me and I'll be sure to answer. But it's, it's not as bad. $65 every, every three to five days, depending on how you drive. Like me, it's, it's really hard to drive slow in this car. It's raining right now. That's why I'm driving so slow. So like I fill up a lot. But if you cruise like this on a sunny day or just cruise in general all the time, your miles per gallon would definitely be higher than 13.8 and you'd probably be filling up twice a week. Once once or twice, not once a week, but twice a week. So that's about it for gas, guys. And if you have any questions on that, just let me know. Let's move on to the next category, y'all. All right, so now that we got gas taken care of and you know the Dodge Charger RT in general, for the most part, like the intro kind of thing, we're gonna move on to the bad thing about this car or owning this car. And it's not really, what the fuck? Oh shit, this nigga just bung. Yo, what the fuck? Y'all just witnessed that. Nah, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, so owning this car, man, one of the main things is dealing with the cops. I'm pretty sure you guys have at least seen through your lifetime about five chargers pulled over by cops. At least five chargers pulled over by cops. Like this is probably the car that you see mostly pulled over. And being in this car, having tent, I know I'm doing it to myself, but I have windshield tent that's a uh, 20%, I believe, and I'm 5% all the way around. And then having a loud car and it just looking like an SRT, I get pulled over a lot, guys. So that's one thing you need to worry about. I'm not even gonna say probably, you need to worry about getting pulled over being in this car. Unless you, you know, you're like an old head, no tent type shit. You're just driving it. Bring it out on weekends, take it to the track type shit. But daily driving this shit, man, you need to look out for 12. They be on your ass. 
they see any fucking charger tinted out, they gonna be on your ass. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to own a charger and not have it tinted out. If you have a charger and your shit's not tinted, you have a problem. You need to get that shit tinted ASAP. I ain't gonna lie. Get that charger 12 on that ass. Ever since I had the car since last August, I got pulled over about six to eight times. But yeah, that shit sucks. And it's not fun. The amount of tickets I had to pay, man, is crazy. Fuck 12. Let's move on to the next topic, y'all. All right, so now another good thing about owning this car, man, is the attention you get. I know that's probably one of the main reasons why a lot of you people want chargers nowadays is because you want attention and and you think it's tanny. You think you're going to get all the Johns with this motherfucker, right? I know. I know how it is because that's, that's how I felt. I ain't going to lie. When I got this shit, I was like, I'm ready to get all the females in the charger, especially it looking like an SRT. You know them, them hoes like them SRTs. But that's one of the main things. Owning a loud charger, um, RT. It feels good because the bitch is not going to know what it is. They're not going to know it's not an SRT. They're just going to they, they gonna think it's an SRT, especially if you make it look like one or just this body style. Even if you keep it stopped, they probably going to think it's SRT. So owning a Dodge Charger RT, you still get the attention. The attention is there. The looks is there and everything. Also, it depends on what body style you get because if you don't know already, not all RTs come in this body style, this SRT body style. So... But you know, it's still a charger, it's still a Dodge charger, as long as you make that bitch loud. So I mean, you straight. But yeah, the attention is there and all that. We're not gonna talk about attention though. Cause you know, the cops and shit. Let me get off the, let me get, let me, let me stop talking about the cops, man. Y'all gonna see how it is, man. Get one of these bitches, y'all gonna see. Cops be on dick for real. Like you could be cruising and it will be on your ass. But yeah, y'all, um, attention is there. Let's move on to the next topic. All right, now the maintenance with this car. A lot of you people are probably wondering how reliable it is, the maintenance, all that other shit. Um, I've owned this car since about 42,000 miles. I'm currently at 61,979. So we're just gonna say 62. I had it for about 20,000 miles and knock on wood, but I don't, I don't have any wood in this car. But nothing has went wrong with this car. Um. Besides, you know, having to grab new tires, getting oil changes and shit like that, nothing really went wrong. Like, I didn't fuck up my axles, my transmission, you know, anything like engine wise, I didn't fuck up. My car has been driving smoothly ever since I bought it last August. It's almost, we're coming up on a year. Everything's been, been straight. Besides, you know, cosmetic wise, I got a couple dents in my car. I ain't showing y'all them dents though, but. I got to get them fixed. But um, besides that, man, 20,000 miles in, and we're at 60,000 right now. Nothing nothing happened to my car. Nothing fucked up. I've had my car ever since I got it. Every single day. Yeah, that's that for the maintenance and shit. So we covered gas, maintenance, RT in general, the attention. That's pretty much the, damn, bro. That's pretty much the, the main thing main things you guys need to know i think we got a couple more topics to cover so moving on to moving on to the space in this car as you guys can see this is a four-door sedan you got hella space in the back for your family or for other things or you know the carrying shit but yeah space is there looks is there you got hella trunk space i'll show you guys in a second actually now nah, just check out my other videos for that because my trunk looks crazy right now. I don't feel like cleaning it. I'm not going to lie. I got a whole tire, a spare tire in the back. But yeah, that's pretty much everything about the Charger. I mean, it's not really much to say. You get all the SRT modes and the RT. Like, this is a Charger RT. I have track mode. In order to get this, you do have to buy a piece. This does not come stock. But it's only about 300 bones. And still, everything works. Everything you see here works. Track mode works. Sport mode works. Custom. Auto eco mode you even get eco mode too all that shit works you can get all this in a in an rt charger like you get the v8 grumble i'll show you guys a little clip of what she sounds like you can't tell me that don't sound like no fucking srt like this shit is really top notch it's literally an srt just without the engine yeah once again guys if you guys have any other questions or you know anything of that nature just please let me know 
or ask them i'll be sure i'll be happy to answer all of you guys questions and concerns about this car but i'm pretty sure i covered about just about everything with daily driving it once again we went over gas gas is not a problem at all fill up about three to five days a week depending on how much you drive the basic shit of the rt to performance like 375 horsepower you're faster than your average car on the road uh what else space in the car you cover just about everything man and oil changes tire ch changes and all that i get a pair of rear tires about every probably once every two months that's another thing i forgot to mention if you think you're gonna get this car and do donuts and shit not happening it can happen but it's not gonna spin like an SRT or a Hellcat because you have a 2.62 um, limited slip differential, LSD, and you need to get that swapped out for a scat pack differential or a Hellcat differential in order to spin both wheels. So having a 2.62 differential only allows you to spin one wheel and not both in the Charger RTs, which is something I did not know before getting this car. Kind of blew my shit, but um, young boy just said a Hellcat. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's one thing. Take notes, y'all. If you're looking to get this car and you think you're going to do donuts, not happening unless you swap out your differential. You need the Scat Pack or the Hellcat diff. Once again, man, I'm done talking. I feel like I covered everything, so we're just going to end the video here. I'm Mr. Boy Lord Schiff. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.